All right, let's start question three. So question three says, Mrs. Homo is a grade two teacher at Happy Valley Primary School. She has a reading corner at the back of her classroom. Learners who wait for their transport after school usually sit there and read a book. Lovely. Mrs. Homo stores pillows in bags. See picture below. Learners sit on these pillows after school. Okay, so here's the bag and then those are pillows, right? So you'll see that there's four pillows in the bag. Obviously, they take out the pillows, sit on the pillows and then put them back in the, in the bag, okay? Just so that you understand what's going on there. Then um, it just tells you that the piping is a thin cord covered in fabric used to decorate the bag and reinforce the seams. Then use the information above to answer the questions that follow. So the school day ends at 12.55. Um, Tindani's father was late and only fetch, came to fetch him at 14.13. Determine how long Tindani sat in the reading corner. Okay, so um, what we need to do is we go from 12.55. Okay, so let's do this um, systematically. So 12.55. So he waited one hour until 13.55. Okay, that was really one hour. And then to get to 14, 13, he waited another five minutes to get to 14. And then five plus 13 gives me 18 minutes. Okay, so you just have to work sort of quite systematically here. So in total, therefore, Tendani waited one hour. Oh, goodness, why am I doing so many? One hour and... 18 minutes. Okay, perfect. 3.1.2. The height of one pillow is 11 centimeters. Okay, determine the difference between the total height of the pillows in one bag and the height of the bag. Okay, so from the picture, we can see that four pillows can fit into the bag. So if we know that each pillow is 11 centimeters, you say four times 11, which gives you 44 centimeters. Okay. You can do that in your calculator if you're not comfortable. But we know that the total height of the bag is 48 centimeters. Okay, So you have to say 48 minus 44 because 48 is how high it is and 44 is how um, many centimeters the bags take. And so it is 4 centimeters. Okay. Right? So that's the difference there. There's other ways of doing it. That to me is the simplest way. Let's now move on to the next question here. And last one for this video. Okay, so you should see as we go through the questions, they get a little bit more involved, but not beyond this, right? We can totally do this. The piping around the bottom edge of the bag, um, the the piping around the bottom edge of some of the bags for the pillows needs to be replaced. The store sells the piping in half meter lengths. Okay, so calculate the total length of piping she will have to purchase to replace the piping around the bottom edges of four bags you may use the formula, okay? So the piping is just at the bottom there, okay? Because it says that it's at the bottom just to, to support the bottom of the bag. So the length is 46 and the width is 30, okay? So the perimeter is two times 30 plus 46, okay? Let's pop that into our calculator. Wait. Okay, perfect. So it's 152 centimeters, right? But that's only for one bag. The question says, please do it for four bags. Okay, so four bags. So we have to say four times 152. So there's that times it by four. And that gives me 608 centimeters. Okay, so it asked us to um, Calculate the length of piping she will have to purchase, but she purchases in half meters. So because that's in centimeters, let's convert that into meters. So it's 6,08 meters because we divide that by 100. Okay, so we have that. But now she can only buy it in half meters. Okay, so she, she could buy six meters worth, but then she's going to be a little bit short, right? So unfortunately, she's going to have to buy six and a half meters to ensure she has enough and she'll have to keep the, the little extra for next time, right? So that's an element of like interpretation, like does this make sense? So you must say here yeah, as a conclusion, because it specifically said, calculate the total length you will need to purchase. So you have to tell the, the marker, well, how much does she have to purchase? So you say six and a half meters. 
um, and that is then your answer. I mean, if you want to be a little bit um, more so sort of detailed, you can say she must buy six and a half meters, but that is what is required. Okay, let's move on to the second question of question three. 